skills, but he does have to figure out how to adjust to his speed. And his round suggested he should. That punch was right on the belt line. Runs at first as though it was a knockdown. Pacquiao. Good uppercut landed at the end of that exchange, too. Now there goes the Pacquiao left hand, right down the pipe again. Rios is getting a little better at blocking the shot, but Pacquiao is still too fast for Rios to see everything that's coming. Oh, good left hand by Pacquiao. Tremendous left hand lead by Manny Pacquiao. Hey, Easy Pacquiao, not really landed nothing in the counting area. He threw a jab that landed on the shoulder or a left outside the back, and that's what Rios went down from, which is not a knockdown because that's not a scoring area. Where the corners want this fight to remain as is. In Pacquiao's corner, Freddie Roach told him, in and out, in and out. Rios said, I want a few more rounds like that one. Pressure fighters traditionally take a few rounds to get going. And Not only that, after a few rounds, when Pacquiao slows down a little bit, the speed began down. Rios is the larger man. He outweighs Pacquiao unofficially by need. It's also worth noting, he hasn't fought a southpaw since he was 19 years old, eight years ago. But he's doing not, you know, he's doing some business in this round. And if you think about the market, which I know a guy like Michael, I mean Robert Garcia knows, is that Margarita hurt Pacquiao very bad to the body in that fight. And Rios is more skillful, I think, than Margarita. Pacquiao's doing some body work here with the right. All the guy. So why is he standing right in front of Brandon? I don't know. Well, maybe because Freddie Roach told him he needs an early knockout. And he wants to get it. He see Pat got in the pot shot, straight left hand lead. This is what happened when a guy is much faster than his opponent. You steal him while he's throwing a jab with a straight left free for Brandon Rios. A hush just came over the crowd. Maybe they understand that Rios isn't going to go away so easily. As the fight's worn on little by little and remains dangerous, at least looking. as was the case in the first round. Yeah, but he's not moving like I want to see him move, Jim. Like, right there, he's still staying too close. Eventually, if he stays that close, uh, Rios will land something big. That's what kind of move. Haka almost got trapped in a corner. That's Rios' office. That's where he can go to work. When Miguel Cotto fought Shane Mosley, he used his jab to neutralize Shane Mosley's speed. Rios chasing land a beautiful left hook clean on the button uh, followed by right hand to the body that it kind of grazes his arms first This is the fight that Rios needs to fight He him with a right hook a right jab a right something and then he turns just like that And Rios you know it's hard for Rios to get him because he's always moving I, I mean he uses that right hand better than any sapphire I can remember Look at that a combination but he always starts with the right hand He doubled the right hand right there and southpaws don't double the right hand Three to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. And he's off to a hot start in round number two. Punches. You saw more of it. We saw an official card where he hadn't won the first. Easy Pacquiao, attack with a straight left hand, move out to the right, then he comes back and attacks with the left hand, right hook, right uppercut, four punches, really, and moves out to his left. This is the type of attack. Oh. Weight and above, Pacquiao punches. Before Hard stop. left hands to the in a clinch. Not good at stopping Manny Pacquiao from firing combinations in the middle of the ring. Who can? <laughs> well, one way to stop him from firing is catching something with something hard in the ex Weight body shot with the left by Pacquiao. Oh. Left, left. You see Pacquiao step off of Brandon's jab right there, count it with a beautiful straight left hand, high on the head. Right on the right eye of Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios smiles, but usually when they smile, they feel. Where he doesn't feel as though he needs to sell out his game plan yet. Good body shot by Pacquiao. And Rios lands to the body. Pacquiao answers to the body. It's a training camp for Pacquiao. Good left hand to the Brandon Rios locks him upside the head. Answer, Manny, you're going to have to protect yourself against the body blows. Gino Rodriguez is not oh, a good shot. Yet. Oh, that hurt Brother Rios, I think. See, Rios' oh, instinct oh. is to fight back. You know it. 
worry about the low blow. Pacquiao that time stayed in there to fire the fourth and fifth punch in the combination. Oh. You see Rio, I mean, Pacquiao come in with one, two, three, four punches. Once he gets Brandon Rios on the defense, he just keeps his hands moving. Four punch combinations. Then he moves. I, I mean, he turns to his left, he turns to his right. Rios pawing at the blood on his left eye. Rios' eyes are beginning to show damage. Yeah, the left hand that uh, Pacquiao keeps landing repeatedly. At what point does Rios think, okay, the game plan is not working? As I mentioned, he hasn't sold out his game plan yet. Whether or not, I know where he is exactly. I'd say we're getting there. Yeah. I'd say we're getting there pretty fast. Pacquiao again. Hard right hand by Rios. His best punch in a while. Pacquiao lands it and he gets away. The only question right now is... Moment. It's a complete paint job. Yeah, the notion of grinding. <laughs> Good right here. You see Pacquiao with another one of these five punch combinations. Once he gets Brandon on the defense, he forces Brandon to keep his hands out. Well, he holds on urgently to the left hand. It's almost as if Manny is saying, I don't much care about your right hand. <laughs> it's your left hook that bothers me. That right hand. Uh... Took care of Alvarado in that first fight pretty good. Yeah, which the punch he seems has gotten have gotten away. Yeah. Another one, two for Pacquiao. But that's gonna take some shots. Punch with Pacquiao. The fight for him. And there's another hard right hand shot by that's right now. Then power shot lands. Those are not representative numbers for Brandon Rios, and they won't win him the fight. So far, in terms of how much does Pacquiao have left, what we've seen in terms of the return had against Tim Bradley, for example. Exactly. Then the Alvarado fight. Rios is the kind of guy who seemed to be able to overcome fights where maybe it didn't look like well this is the biggest hand speed deficit i think rios has ever faced never fought a guy with the hand speed best punch throughout this whole fight which has been the counter left and the straight left lead there was a counter left there's a counter left or a left lead because he threw it at the same time here's a counter left hand again that straight left hand has caused brandon rios all types of trouble all night long especially all the way martinez Risk tried for a knockout and gave Travis Jr. the chance to land those good shots. Well, so far, this has been opportunities. He doesn't have the kind of punching thunder that Chop. Well, Brandon hasn't taken the... Brandon hasn't been quite as defenseless as the slower Margarito was. Exactly. No broken bone. Pacquiao has to be had moments in the 11th round. Correct. That weren't just in the corner play out because... Brandon Rios' face and head are going to look like a basketball tomorrow morning. Yes. Pacquiao. Rios' face. That erupted into... Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Venetian Macau, we go to the scorecards. Michael Pernick scores it 120 to 108. Lisa Jaffa has it 119 to 109. And Manfred Kuchla scores it 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. He's back. The fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny. Pac-Man! Pac-Man!